Well, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining me again for the November case update. I'm delighted so many of you are able to join us. What we're going to cover in today's session, a couple of cases on expenses. The first relates to employment expenses, the case of Kunjo, and then a case which of a topic which doesn't really come up that often, management expenses for corporation tax. It's a rule we all learnt when we first did um, tax, and we've probably come across it once in a while with clients who are investment companies. But on the whole, there tends not to be much excitement in the world of management expenses. Nevertheless, we do have a case, Centrica Overseas Holdings, which we'll be looking at as well in the first part of the session. My plan, if I'm all goes to time, is to look at this third case, J.R.O. Griffiths, a capital allowances case, also in the first half of the session, before having a short break to stretch our legs, etc. And then a couple of cases involving questions of procedure. There's a question which actually was described in the case as a vexed question. To what extent can you argue what's known as a public law points in the first tier tribunal? In other words, when can you have a quasi-judicial review hearing in the first tier tribunal when the first tier tribunal does not have judicial review powers? That does rear its head in the case of KSM Henrik Zeman. And then finally, I'm going to return to the subject of late claims for or late elections for fixed protection, the case of Harrison. You'll remember in the previous months, lecture, we looked at the case of Ketley. Well, slightly different situation here, the case of Harrison, and we'll be looking at that again after the break.